That up there is Hen Mountain and yeah, the plan is we're going to do an overnight wild camp, no tents. We thought it was going to be sunny, but as it turns out the mornings are full of snow so this could be interesting. Look at that. We just stopped there for a little Tinder break, and by that I don't mean a casual throwaway relationship. I mean, we stopped together some of this stuff. Some of the stuff that we, that's sticking up high wouldn't be as wet. So gathering stuff down near the roots They're would like, have been a really bad idea. Yeah. Glad I didn't do that. <laughs> like I said, uh, uh, yeah, and I'll probably look like words with gummage later. Christmas footprints. Uh, yeah, looks like a, a very large baby with three toes. <laughs> <laughs> I was just standing. <laughs> I just fell over while standing still. Oh, there are my glasses. See that? I'm bleeding. I haven't even reached campsite and I'm in danger of bleeding to death already. So that's, that goes up there and can't see the reservoirs here. So I've changed plans slightly because the weather's so bad, Rob has decided we're going to go up and over instead of around. So less distance, but uh, he just used the phrase, this will be interesting, which I uh, don't know if it fills me with confidence or fear. <laughs> Below zero, we're about five inches of snow. But I'm actually quite warm and toasty, like literally all I'm wearing is a base layer and this coat, which I've been kindly given by Rab Outdoors. So yeah, two layers and I'm actually quite comfortable. Although it's probably something to do with the fact I've got a, a massive backpack on as well, but still pretty impressed. Now it's time for a word from our sponsor. <laughs> This trip into the sunny outdoors has been partially sponsored by Rab, who have given, gifted me a base layer and coat. Synopsis, I'm only wearing two layers, a hat and gloves, but I'm still warm, so thumbs up from me, chaps. You have to be careful up here in this weather because you can bump into the, the Morns Yeti. Uh, unlike the one in the Alps, the Morns Yetis are they're much smaller, they're about two foot tall. They're quite fluffy and they've got four legs. Come to, come to the morns, they said. It'd be a nice day, they said. Oh, hang on. I'll show you how deep this is. There you go. Ooh, slidey. <laughs> nearly. At the forest we're going to be staying in, Rob has disappeared on ahead because he did not fall over. There's a reservoir over there, so there's plenty of water. <laughs> it's tripped in a stump. Yeah. Is this us? This is us.
was a traditional flint striker and that is flint. Um, that's the stuff we gathered earlier and in here I had sort of in my tinder uh, pouch western red cedar bark. We're going to use the charred cloth see if we can get a spark onto it. Best possible conditions for trying to light a fire as well. Yeah. <laughs> So we're going to try and consolidate that a bit. Come in and I will show you the campsite. The fire. This is rub. And over here we've got uh, Camp Drippy. So this is the trick. How do you uh, keep all your electronic gadgets dry? <laughs> got my sleeping bag here inside this bivy bag. And then I've got a little inflatable mat on the inside. And a pillow. So hopefully that'll be warm tonight. This is my this is my roof stick. It's the stick for the roof. And I've got my spare socks on there just to stop and poking a hole in the roof. I'm also using it to dry my coat. And I've got this just in case I have to resort to drinking my own pee. This is a life straw. Never used this thing before, so <laughs> we'll see how it goes. I just put one end in the water and then and apparently it's completely pure and I won't die. Oh! Ow! Ow! I've got brain freeze! And if I catch a bullet on this trip, I will not be happy. Not one bit. I've made myself this, uh, this handy bushcraft wand. I, uh, I've spent quite a bit of time working on this. I think it would allow me to cast uh, bushcrafting spells. So. Uh, Campfire Alamius. I find this. Um, this is actually uh, a fish trap. You put it in the water and then the fish comes to it. Because fish are really confused by square shapes that are not normally found in nature, they become disoriented and trapped and just stay inside it. So I'm going to go and put it in the water here. And then when I come back in the morning, there'll be a big fish ready uh, that I can have for breakfast. I'll just set this here. And in the morning, I'll come back the way a fish. Oh, wow. It is unbelievably peaceful down here. My boots and my socks are wet, so I've just taken them off. Boots are dry in there, and so the socks. It's crunchy! <laughs> I am absolutely freezing. He's over there, you can see the nice glow of the tent. I'm standing outside freezing my backside off because I'm trying to upload Instagram stories. Saw that, I'm gonna go get my dinner. Oh, 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 oh,
<laughs> Hello. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> 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 <laughs>